Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. This is obviously a very different setup than where I usually film, but I just got a new car and I love watching these videos where it's like decorate my car with me. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. I'm in a random parking lot, so hopefully no one like pulls up, but I feel like that's like how every one of these videos starts out, so it'll be fine. Since my channel is typically a makeup channel, I felt like it was actually pretty fitting that I put all of my car stuff in this random Sephora bag. So let's just jump into it. I've been so excited to film this. I've had the car for a few days, but the filming just didn't really work out with our schedule lately. So I came to this parking lot to film this video before it gets dark and I'm determined to film it. So I hope that you guys enjoy. If you do, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. I do typically post makeup videos, but I'm kind of planning to post some different types of videos as well. So I hope that you guys are okay with that. Um, so I guess let's just start out with the type of car that I got. I purchased the Subaru Forester. I got the limited version with the black interior and I'm really happy with it. I think that it's a super nice car. I'm really enjoying it. It has this really cool sunroof on it and it has a lot of cool safety features too. So I've just really been enjoying it the last couple of days and I'm just really excited. So let's jump into it. The first thing I actually like put this little bag together about a month ago. I had to order this car so it took a couple of months to get here so I've been really anticipating it um, but I put together this little bag just to keep in my glove box with random things that you just sometimes need so I will just go ahead and show you what's in it and then I do have some like actual like car accessories too so the bag itself is this bag that I got it was like a free with purchased gift set of Maybelline products at Ulta and I really liked the bag, so I decided to use it for this. I like that it's clear so I can see what I'm looking for. I got some tissues to keep in the bag because I usually keep a stack of napkins in the glove box, but like if you wanna blow your nose, sometimes napkins aren't ideal, so I got some tissues. I also got this little mini lint roller. I got this from Walmart for like 99 cents, but I got it just because it fits so nicely in the bag, and I've actually already used this. Um, I had this in my old car for a little bit, so I used it in there. I haven't used it like in the last couple of days, but it's really good, especially for work. Um, that's why I use it is because my black dress pants had some dog hair on it. So I used the lint roller for that. And then I also put in this little hairbrush. So this is just a compact hairbrush and it's just really nice to have. I bought this pack of just standard hair ties from Walmart and I thought that that would be nice to add in. I also have a Germex in here. I have another one, but sometimes they just like get lost or thrown in my purse. So I've got an extra. I got a little mini deodorant. This one's the Dove Advanced Care. It smells like cucumber. And I just got this little mini. And then I also have this Jergens Ultra Healing moisturizer it's the hand lotion or it's how i will use it my hands are really dry so i love to have little lotions everywhere and then the last two things in this bag are nail related so just have a little mini emery board or file like nail file if you need it and then a pair of nail clippers because if you break a nail it's just really nice to have this in your car so that's everything back in the bag and I'm just gonna keep that in my glove box. And then I went to eat at Kava with my friend the other day so I already grabbed just a little stack of napkins because I feel like I'm always needing them and it's just perfect to keep in your glove box. I'm also gonna keep this little leash in my glove box. This has come in really handy just like randomly over the last several years. So I'm the type of person that if I see a dog on the side of the road and it looks like it's not supposed to be there and I don't obviously, obviously don't want it to get hit. Um, I'm the type of person that will stop and try to help the dog. <laughs> and something like this is just really helpful because it doesn't take up a ton of space and it's just like a little leash where you can put you can wrap this through and then it kind of serves as a leash and a collar for the time being. So the owner's manual for this car is actually really big and it's like completely filling up the glove box almost. So I'm going to try and put this in the center console and for now it might live in there. Um, and then I also got these little, like a little travel size of wet ones, which are just like wipes. So if you have something sticky on your hands or something I feel like it just kind of happens a lot then these are really nice and I got the fragrance free ones so I'm also just gonna put those in the glove box with the napkins so most of everything that I'm showing you guys today was from Amazon I typically do try and purchase things from Etsy that are handmade but 
most of the stuff that I got today just made a little bit more sense to purchase on Amazon. So I am actually going to link everything. I created a storefront on Amazon, so that's going to be an affiliated link. If you choose to shop through that, thank you. I appreciate it, but you don't have to. I know that Amazon storefronts are a little bit like hit or miss of how you feel about people having them. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I don't want to just like put everything on it. Like I'm not just going to like link, I don't know, like... I'm wearing sunglasses in this video, so I'm not just going to go link a random pair of sunglasses that look similar just so I can get some sort of an affiliate commission. That's not what I'm wanting to do. The stuff that I put on the Amazon storefront is going to be things that I genuinely really like and that I have chosen to purchase off of Amazon myself and that I've enjoyed. So all of the things or most of the things I talk about in today's video, I did get from there. I do want to order this little charm off of Etsy. I'm going to order it tonight, but it won't be here obviously in time for this video. So um, I will have to update you guys on that. But I want to order this charm because it reminds me of my precious boy, Henry. Um, if you guys missed my life update, I'm not going to talk too much about it right now because it will make me cry. But unfortunately, my little puppy dog passed away and it's been really hard on me and my whole family like all of our friends like everyone just loved him so much it's been really hard and this is a very weird time to be trying to be excited about a new car because that meant that I sold my old car which is the one where Henry had just so many car rides and so many good memories and I know we'll have good memories in this car taking Perry our other Greyhound you know on trips and stuff but I wanted to have just a little piece of Henry in the car and he loved the beach so much so I thought that this little um, charm to put on the rear view mirror would be perfect. Okay, so this fits okay in here, like on its side. So I think for now that will be fine. I'm gonna leave it like that. So next up in the bag, I told you I had another hand sanitizer. So I'm just going to actually keep that in this little opening right here. I think that, that will be a good spot for it so it doesn't get lost. I'll go ahead and talk about this since it's right here. This is a little car trash can, so it has a lid and it's just a nice little trash can for like straw wrappers or any little bits of paper or whatever. Um, it could either go here, but I think I'm gonna put it in the door. This is a little harder to show, but I'm hoping that it will fit here. Yeah, that's where I wanna leave it. So that's gonna be just a little trash can. That actually comes with trash bags, but I feel like I'm less likely to keep up with it if I use the trash bags. So I feel like I'd rather just use that for trash and then it's just a plastic little container. So I'm wondering if you could put it in the dishwasher. Either way, I'll probably just like wash it instead. Um, instead of using like little trash bags, I feel like that's a little bit unnecessary. So I plan to just use that and then take it out, dump it in the trash and then put it back in the car. Okay, I totally forgot to show the before, but this just took forever to put on. So I'm just going to leave it as is. But I got this little cover off of Amazon to go on this center console because my dog rides in here with me a lot and I don't want her to like step on this and leave little nail marks and so this way if she does hopefully it wouldn't actually hurt the actual leather of the center console but sometimes when we take her in the Starbucks drive through and she really wants her pup cup she gets a little excited and steps up here so definitely got that to protect it and then usually the back seats are going to be down I put them up just kind of to film this video but I'll show you guys a clip of what it actually usually looks like i'm gonna try and make it look a little bit cuter but i did get our dog a new bed for the car and a blanket and i decided to go with pink because i thought it was cute um but usually the seats would be down and i kind of have that set up for her i have these little visor like you can clip them on the visor and then your sunglasses can go on them but this car actually has the sunglasses spot so i'm not going to worry about that in this one i was going to put one on the passenger visor but this is actually like really thick and so it was kind of like too thick for the clip and I broke one but I had a pack of four and I used them in my husband's car so I just was like going to put them in here but that's okay that one was a little bit of a fail I do have this though so this is called the first years y'all it is so dirty I need to clean that off but this is literally from when I was a little kid uh, my mom had this in our car and this is how she would look at me and my brother in the back seat and it's just really cool and i honestly use it to see the dog um so i'm just gonna put this on the rear view mirror because i just feel like it just works really well so i'm gonna put that on real quick so this is what it looks like and when you're looking in the rear view mirror you know you can see the other cars but then you can actually move this around to see your back seat and when the seats are down of course i can see into the very back 
and see the dog. So I just really like that. I've had it in my cars since I got my first dog and I would be able to look at Henry in the back. And so now I can look at Perry and it's just really nice to have. And if you have kids, I bet this would be really great because that's what it's intended for. That's actually what this is up here. So it just like wraps around. It's just really hard to show you know, when I'm trying to hold the camera with one phone, but I really love that little mirror. I also have this that I'm gonna put in my door. This is for if you're in an emergency situation, you can cut your seatbelt with this. And then if you hit your window with this, it will shatter it. So definitely don't do that unless you need to, but it's good in an emergency situation. My brother got me this for Christmas several years ago and I always just leave it right in the door. I've seen a lot of these that are black, but I really like that this one's orange because if your car were to like flip over or something and you needed this, this is a lot easier I feel like to see because it's so bright. So I really love that it's orange. So these are just a pair of like cheapo sunglasses, but sometimes I take my sunglasses out of the car and forget them. Because my eyes are so light and I'm also really sensitive to a lot of headaches, I really need sunglasses when it's sunny outside. So I just have this real cheap kind of like, it was a free pair from an art market and I'm just going to keep that in the center console and then I will have an extra pair if I need them. Now we're getting into the real cute stuff. I'm so excited for these. So these are little um, coasters for your car. And of course I got the cute little leopard print just like my phone case. So I got these ones because they were actually um, ceramic. Some of them were like rubber and I didn't really love that and has the cork on the bottom. So I wanted to add those into the bottom of the cup holders. Currently drinking a Sprite. Oh, oh, those are so cute. I love those. Okay, so definitely those are gonna be linked below. I really like those. So next up, this is a, well, it came in a pack, but this is a little hook for your purse. I raised up the headrest a little bit so that I can actually fit the hook, but you just hook this part around the headrest and then you have a hook on the back. So now I can hook my purse onto the back of the seat and it doesn't move around because I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I drive around, if I have it anywhere, it will just like fall over and all the stuff will fall out of it. That actually happened today and it's super frustrating because I don't always have it zipped up. So I really think I'm going to like these and I think I'm gonna add one to mine as well, just because I think it'll be nice to just have them. And I think it came in a pack of four, so I might as well use two in this car and then I'll probably put the other two in my husband's car. So hopefully he's okay with that, but I'm gonna add this one to my seat. They're really tiny and I love that you can get different colors. So depending on what color interior your car is, or if you want like a, just a different option, then you can do that. And I'm really excited about those hooks. This one, it was like all the videos I've watched definitely made me buy. This is to pick up dust. So it's like, you know, goo. You can take it out of there and roll it around. So actually I'll show you. So we can thank my dog for leaving some dog hair already, but I took the goo like just out of the container and you can just roll it around wherever you need and it'll pick up all of that stuff. So once you like move it all around, it will kind of end up in the middle there, but I think you can just kind of use this for a pretty long time and it seems like it'll be really nice. So like there's a little bit of dust up here and so I think you can just sort of like roll it around, which is just nice, especially like for your cup holders and stuff. And I think that it will just help kind of keep a little bit of the dog hair off because that's probably most of what I will be using it for. Um, and this is just good in between like wiping down all of the interior of the car. And then you can just stick it back in here and keep it in your car. This one is scented. It's like a rose scent. So, you know, they do have scents to them. I just wanted the pink one, but that is actually a, a little bit of a strong scent, but I do already have a headache. So that might be part of the reason. I think I've saved the two most exciting things for the end, at least the ones that I was the most excited about. Um, I've just been so excited to put them in the car and like use them so I don't know I'm just really I'm really like glad that I'm finally able to film this video because I've just been dying to put this stuff in the car but this is a key fob cover and I got the black and gold one I'm so excited for this you guys you just have no idea like I'm just so pumped so it's just a little like uh, rubber cover that you can put on the key so this is the before and then it's gonna look very cute i think so let me install this oh my gosh this is so cute so it even has a backing too so it's gonna look cute 
all the way around. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm going to order one of these for my key to my husband's car too because they're on the same key ring and I think it would just look so cute. I think I'll do like, um, well, I'll probably do the same black. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. Okay. And it even comes with its own keychain, but I have this keychain that I freaking love and it has my other keys on it. So I'm just going to use that, but look how good that's going to look together. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm so excited. That is so cute. I love it. Okay. So this is what it looks like up close. So the Subaru button here is the unlock button. So they left that one open, which I really love the pop of blue. It matches my nails like perfect today. And then the back is really nice and sleek. The last thing I have is the most exciting. This is the one that I've just been looking forward to putting in the car. I almost put it in the other day and I was like, no, I should probably stop talking while opening it, but I made myself wait until I got it. So this is actually an air freshener. So these are like air freshener refills. I don't want those. Um, I just wanted the actual thing that the air fresheners went in. So I wanted to say too, that these are technically sold on Etsy and I prefer to order things handmade from Etsy versus like on Amazon and stuff, even though a lot of the stuff today is from Amazon, but the ones on Etsy are literally the same thing. It's just people saying, it's just people selling them on Etsy. They're not handmade on Etsy. It's the same from what I can tell. It's, it's literally this, they're just selling it on Etsy. So I chose to purchase them on Amazon, but I didn't even say what they were. These are little clips that you can put in your um, air vents and they just look so cute. So they have some pink ones. I thought about doing the pink and now I think I would have liked it because I did the pink bed, which I'll show you guys, but I really liked these because they were just black with gold and I feel like they went really nice with the car. So I am so excited to try these out. It's a pack of six and like I said, it's supposed to be an air freshener, but all the reviews said that the air freshener would fall out all the time so i'm not even going to worry about that i literally just wanted wait i'm going to wait and put them on when you can see them but i just wanted the flowers because i think they're cute so that's amazing so it just has like a little groove on the back and then the clip just slides right in and then you can add it to your air vent so i'm going to put all these on and then we'll put them on the air vent okay i think let's start out with a small one maybe we'll put it right here so you can just push it in <gasps> i am obsessed okay i love that okay i'm gonna put maybe a medium one over here on the right mm, i might move that over one so you could still tilt it really good yeah i freaking love that look how cute okay that is so adorable. Kind of wondering like how should I do the rest of them? Oh, I love it. Okay, let's put one over here. We'll put a larger one over here. Okay, I think I want to do three on the center. So I'm thinking like what if I did two small ones right next to each other on the side? <gasps> yeah, I love that. Okay, so we have that and then we've got one extra i'm kind of like should i put it in the back i don't know if anyone would ever even see it but i feel like it's getting a little crowded in the front so why not yeah so i'm just gonna put it right there and it looks a little cute oh my gosh y'all i'm obsessed with this okay look how cute this turned out so here I put one large one on either of the sides here, and then I did two small ones, one medium, and then the other medium one is in the back. I just think that looks adorable. Like, it's subtle, but it's just so cute. I love it. Don't think, just ignore the license plate down there, but I am obsessed with that. Okay, I've been so excited to add those on. You guys have no idea. I love it. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm actually taking a pause from filming, which I mentioned in my last video, but I've been really excited to film this video because ever since I ordered the car, I have watched so many videos about this car in particular, the Subaru Forester, but also just like decorate 
my car with me videos all the time and I really love them. I think that it's a really fun way to dress up your car. My first car was a 2004 and it was, you know, it had some character to it. And so I loved being able to like add in little accessories to make it just like feel like my car. And I still wanted to do that when I got this new one. So I really loved that. I'm super excited about it. I just really loved how everything turned out and I hope that you guys like this video, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.